Hi, this is James Kittrick with JKOnTheRun.com, a proud member of the GigaOm family. Wanted to come to you briefly today because I'm getting a lot of email and questions about something that I picked up, I bought a few weeks back for my iPhone 3G, and a lot of people are curious about it. I haven't had a chance to show it to you, so I'm going to do that today. And that is the Richard Solo backup battery for the iPhone. It actually works with the iPhone 2G, 3G, and the iPod Touch as well because it uses the standard connector. It's a very simple little battery. It's very small and it's very light. Now what this is intended to do is, you know, a lot of people have uh, made a lot of commentary about the battery life of the iPhone 3G, running 3G, and so what the Richard Solo backup battery is designed to do is to completely recharge an iPhone up to 70% of its battery capacity. So what that means is once you drop down to 30% on your iPhone, you can pop this in and not only continue to use the iPhone, and I'll show you how that works in just a second, but it will also bring it back up to a full charge so that then you pop this off and off you go again. Now it comes very, very simply with a charger, which is very small, which uses USB. As you can see, it's got a little red LED on the uh, surface so you can tell when it's working. And it comes with a really nice USB to mini USB retractable cable. And so this works real simply. You just plug it into the charger, pop it out, and then you can plug it right in to the Richard Solo backup battery. I'm going to show you. I'm trying to connect it now. And that's how it works, basically. That's how you charge it. You can also plug the iPhone 3G into this while it's charging, and that's pretty cool too. But in operation, it's very simple. And I'm going to show you how that works. Here's my iPhone 3G, which right now probably has near full charge, so I don't need to use this. But I'm going to show you how it works. Now, first of all, on this side, if you can see it, there's several LEDs. One that says it's charging. When you're charging the battery, you can uh, see the LED. It says, yeah, it's charging. There's one that shows that it's plugged in and, uh, to the iPhone. It's supplying power to the iPhone. And then there's a 100% LED so that you see when this is at 100%. So it's pretty slick. So basically what you do is you need to plug it in. So you just take it into your connector. You pop it in. And as you can see, it comes on. And if you can see by the little LED up there, it shows that it's charging. And it is. Let me turn that back on so you can see. It's charging the iPhone as we speak. You can see the little letter. And actually, the 100% light is on, so I was right. My iPod is actually, or my iPhone 3G is actually fully charged, and that's showing me that. But with this active, you can still use it. Now, it's not as convenient, but it's very light. It doesn't add a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of bulk to it. So, the iPhone can be used. So often, what I'll do is I'll have this with me in my bag. So let's say I go to a coffee shop and I'm working away and I notice that it's, you know, my, my iPhone battery is down, you know, 60, 70%. I'll just plug this in and set it on the table in front of me and just let it be charging. And then if I need to use it, I can still answer a phone call or I can just pop this off and answer a phone call. The important thing is it's been charging my battery and it charges it really fast. I mean... You can plug this in and in a very decent amount of time come back and look at it and it's fully charged the phone if it wasn't too depleted. You know, so anyway, that's what I wanted to show. I bought this directly from the richardsolo.com website. I think I paid 50 bucks for 49 something with free shipping. I remember that <laughs> clearly. So that's the Richard Solo backup battery for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. And it works well with all of them. So there's everybody's questions answered. That's what it looks like. That's how small it is. 
and I'm really using the heck out of it. So this has been James Kendrick with JKOnTheRun.com. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll be back really, really soon. See you now.